Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Skywalker. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, why do bats hang upside down? When you think of bats, there's one image that instantly comes to mind. A dark silhouette dangling effortlessly from the ceiling of a cave, perched upside down with wings wrapped tightly around its body. It's an iconic pose that sparks curiosity and sometimes even fear. But have you ever wondered why bats do this? Of all the creatures in the animal kingdom, bats are the only mammals that spend a major part of their lives literally flipped on their heads. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating science behind this upside-down lifestyle, uncovering how it helps them fly, hunt, survive, and even escape predators in ways that are far more clever than you might expect. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Bats don't just hang upside down because it looks dramatic or because they're trying to be different, though admittedly they do have a flair for the weird. The real reason lies in their anatomy. Unlike birds, bats cannot launch themselves from the ground into flight. Their wings and legs are simply not built for a graceful takeoff from flat surfaces. Birds have powerful leg muscles that help them jump into the air, but bats have evolved for total aerial mastery, not ground mobility. Their legs are smaller and weaker, with joints that bend backward, making it awkward and inefficient for them to stand upright or push themselves off the ground. By starting upside down, gravity becomes their personal launch assistant. All they have to do is let go, drop, spread their wings, and they're airborne in an instant. Hanging upside down gives them the perfect flight-ready position, allowing them to conserve energy and react quickly when it's time to fly. Another intriguing part of this behavior is the special mechanism bats use to hang without effort. If humans tried to cling to a ceiling by their feet, we'd last about two seconds before our leg muscles gave out. Bats, however, can hang upside down even after they're asleep or even after they're dead. Their ability comes from a clever biological design. Inside their legs is a unique tendon locking system. When a bat's body relaxes, its claws naturally clench, allowing it to grip onto surfaces without using muscle power. In fact, the more relaxed the bat is, the tighter the grip becomes. This means a bat can snooze for hours while hanging from a tiny ledge without worrying about falling. It's a brilliant energy-saving adaptation that lets them rest safely and avoid expending unnecessary effort. Hanging upside down also plays a major role in keeping bats safe from predators. Most animals that might threaten bats, such as snakes, cats, or ground predators, can't easily reach the high ceilings of caves or the undersides of bridges where bats like to roost. By choosing elevated, sheltered places and clinging from the top, bats place themselves in a zone where few enemies can follow. Even predators that can climb often struggle to navigate the narrow crevices and steep inclines where bats sleep. This upside-down roosting behavior is not just convenient. It's survival strategy at its finest. It allows them to hide in dark and closed spaces that offer protection from both hunters and harsh weather. But the benefits don't end there. Bats roosting upside down also helps with thermoregulation. Many bat species experience rapid swings in body temperature, especially smaller ones whose metabolism skyrockets during flight. When they return to their roost, they may enter a state called torpor, which is similar to a mini hibernation. Hanging upside down inside a cave or under a shaded tree helps them stay insulated from the sun and maintain a stable body temperature with less effort. 
Roosting in clusters amplifies this effect. By huddling together, often in huge numbers, bats conserve warmth and create a micro-environment that supports the entire colony. Their upside-down posture also gives them more options when it comes to choosing roosting locations. Because they don't need a flat surface to rest, bats can inhabit spaces that other animals simply can't. Ceilings of caves, the undersides of cliffs, narrow tree hollows, abandoned buildings, and even man-made structures like tunnels or attics become perfect bat homes. These locations often remain undisturbed, shielded from rain, wind, and predators, allowing bats to rest peacefully during the day. This flexibility in choosing roosting sites is one of the reasons bats have been able to spread across nearly every continent on Earth. Interestingly, the upside-down lifestyle also helps bats with grooming and social behaviors. You might imagine that hanging that way would make things more difficult, but for bats, it's actually quite convenient. They use their wings like blankets, controlling their body heat and protecting themselves while sleeping. They also use their claws and teeth to groom their fur, clean their wings, and remove parasites, all while comfortably suspended. Hanging upside down allows them to move freely within colonies, reposition themselves, and interact with other bats without having to land or walk awkwardly on the ground. To sum it all up, bats hang upside down because their bodies have evolved to turn what looks like a strange disadvantage into an elegant solution. Their weak legs and reverse joints make hanging easier than standing. Their tendon locking mechanism lets them grip effortlessly. Their upside down posture helps them take flight instantly, stay hidden from predators, regulate their temperature, and build colonies in places no other mammal can reach. What seems odd to us is actually a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering. So the next time you see a picture of a bat dangling silently in a cave, remember what looks eerie is actually a beautifully efficient survival strategy. Bats aren't weird. They're innovators of the night sky. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.